Hello, everybody, and welcome into episode number 20 of the Keys Corner. It's the first Keys Corner of the second half. Keys are starting the second half in Lynchburg, and they're in the midst of a four-game series right now. In the first half, the Keys finished up 31-38, and which was last in the Carolina League North. However, the slate is wiped clean for the second half as a push for a second-half playoff spot begins this weekend. In the first half, there were a number of things to cheer about, including a piece of Keys history as Austin Hayes became the first player in Keys history to hit three home runs in a game. It was over 28 years, over 10,000 days uh, before the Keys got their first one. Well, then Austin was joined two nights later by Ryan Mountcastle, who launched three home runs of his own. So they are both in the Keys record books as the only players to hit three home runs in a game. First half also featured a pair of walk-off hits, one from Randolph Gassaway, and then a walk-off home run in the 11th inning by Adimar Rifaela. Uh, also in the first half, three players earned a call-up to double-A Bowie. It was Yermin Mercedes, Randolph Gassaway, and Stevie Wilkerson. And the Keys also sent four players to the Carolina League All-Star Game. That was Ryan Mountcastle, Randolph Gassaway, Austin Hayes, and Tanner Kleberad. In Salem, where the All-Star Game was played, Tanner Kleberad tossed an inning of scoreless relief. Ryan Mountcastle was 0 for 3, while Randolph Gassaway was 0 for 1, and Austin Hayes 1 for 3 with a run scored. Now, staying on Austin Hayes, uh, the first day of the second half, he earned the call-up to Double A Bowie as well, and it was well-deserved as he was tearing up the Carolina League. Uh, he, he hit 328 with 16 home runs, 41 RBIs, and led the Carolina League with 86 hits, hitting primarily out of the two-hole, but then he slid up to the one-hole when Wilkerson got the call-up to Bowie. So very well-deserved for Austin Hayes. Congratulations to him, and we wish him the best of luck in Bowie. So when we return, we have a lot to talk about in terms of promotions coming up. We have an eight-game homestand on our way. And when we come back, Kevin Hernandez joins us for the first time on Keys Corner. Back here on episode 20 of Keys Corner, we are joined by a very special guest, marketing assistant Kevin Hernandez, who joins us for the first time this year. And Kevin, how does it feel to be on Keys Corner? Uh, it's really great. Uh, better late than never mid-season, mid but uh, I hope to do as well as you guys have done so far. Well, you have a, a big shoes to fill with DeForest Garcia. He does uh, very well here on Keys Corner, but we'll get right into this upcoming homestand. It's eight games. It starts with a four-game set against the Wilmington Blue Rocks. All games are at 7 o'clock, and it starts on Monday with BGE Home Make a Difference Monday, and it's also Kids Eat Free Monday. That's right. Kids Eat Free. All kids 12 and under that come into the ballpark will get a voucher for a hot dog, chips, and a soda. So that's a great value there. And we move right along to Guaranteed Win Tuesday. We're confident the Keys are going to win, but if they don't, uh, you can get a ticket for any uh, Sunday through Thursday home game for the rest of the season. And then we move on to Wear Orange Wednesday, also MMI Kids Night. And then we finish off Thursday with a great, great night of baseball and move on to what will be an action-packed weekend. Yeah, it really will be an action-packed weekend. It starts on Friday night. We have four sets of fireworks. The first time this year that we've had four straight nights of fireworks starts on Friday night against the Lynchburg Hillcats. And the weekend begins with a Manny Machado t-shirt giveaway presented by Nimeo. And it's also Coyote's birthday and Minions night. It is Coyote's birthday, a big celebration. Uh, we'll celebrate with a Minion theme. We'll have some birthday party themed games on the field. Uh, we'll have some of the interns running around in, in Minion costumes, and we'll also have uh, a few mascots coming out to the ballpark as well, uh, notably Louie from Bowie, one of our affiliates, will come out. And we'll also have Poe from the Baltimore Ravens, and a few other surprises will be coming out, so it should be a fun time to help uh, Coyote bring in another year. A yeah, great way to start off weekend baseball, and then it continues on Saturday night. One of our biggest celebrity appearances coming up, Michael O'Keefe, who played Danny Noonan on Caddyshack. Caddyshack, another big celebrity appearance coming up. We've had a few so far this year have gone really well. Expect nothing but good things from this as well. And, yeah, we'll have some golf-themed Caddyshack-type games on the field as well for that. I'm a big golf guy, big Caddyshack guy, so that'll be a lot of fun. We continue on in the weekend, and as always, it's Sunday Funday presented by Chili's. That's right. Sunday Funday, as we always do, we'll have Catch in the Outfield. We'll have some players up on the concourse signing autographs. Uh, great time. And then it's also Olympic Day, so again, we'll keep the themes rolling on the field with a lot of olympic theme games, a good chance to uh, honor the great athletes uh, playing for our country. And then the next night is Monday night. Again, it's a BGE Home Make a Difference Monday. We kind of stay on the, uh, the America theme with Stars and Stripes Night. It's the day before Independence Day, a great day to, uh, to kick it off before the 4th of July. Absolutely. Stars and Stripes Night will uh, have a hat auction 
on the concourse during the game. The players will be wearing special Stars and Stripe themes hats. You'll have a chance to uh, bid on those throughout the game. We'll auction them off after the game. So send you off into style into the 4th of July holiday. It's going to be a great eight-game homestand. We're really excited for uh, the upcoming week of promotion. Should be great Carolina League action. For tickets, you can call the box office, 301-815-9939, or visit frederickkeys.com. You can also follow us on social media. We'll keep you updated on all of these uh, different promotional nights. You can follow us on Twitter, uh, at uh, Frederick Keys. Instagram's at Frederick Keys. Snapchat is at Frederick Keys, like our Facebook page, keep up with our, our YouTube channel, and uh, yeah, we'll just keep you uh, up to date with all the behind the scenes action. So, Kevin, great job today on your, your first uh, Keys you. Corner of the Year. I appreciate it. It was fun. Yeah, we might uh, have to mix you in a little bit more with uh, DeForest when he's not here. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> well, for Kevin Hernandez, I'm Kyle Houston. Thank you for watching the Keys Corner, and we'll talk to you next week.